Have you heard the buzz around the IoT? The news is full of emerging applications from fancy wearables to life-saving biomedical devices. IoT applications have two features in common, an internet connection and the use of smart sensors. A smart sensor is a compact electronic system that collects information from the physical world. It is built with a few integrated circuits. First, sensing is performed by imager, accelerometers or biosensors. Second, a microcontroller processes the sensor signal to extract and encrypt the meaningful data. Third, a radio wirelessly transmits the data to the cloud. Finally, small batteries supply the system through onboard power management. Now, market studies predict a massive deployment of 100 billion smart sensors. So connecting these sensors to the cloud is already complex. But if you want to do it in a sustainable way, it becomes a pretty exciting research challenge. In my team at UCL, we target the full energy autonomy for smart sensors, as this is the key to an eco-friendly IoT, which will prevent the toxicity of trillion battery replacements. To reach the holy grail of autonomy, we can harvest the power freely available in the environment, such as in the ambient light or in the emissions of Wi-Fi routers. But there is a problem, as this power is in the microwatt range, which is too low to supply current generation smart sensors. We just need to save power. But how? Well, actually, there is a simple solution. The power consumption of digital circuits is proportional to the square of their supply voltage. As circuits typically operate between 1 and 3 volts, scaling down to 0.5 volt will enable strong power savings. But of course, this is not as easy, as conventional circuits suffer from severe performance degradation at 0.5 volts low dynamic range for sensing, low speed for processing, and high bit error rate for transmission. This is why, in my team, we aim to breach the 1 volt barrier without degrading performance. This is what we call ultra-low voltage design. Over the last years, we demonstrated microcontrollers, imagers, and a radio transmitters, all designed for ultra-low voltage. Now, these bring the performance required for smart sensors, but with a power consumption 20 to 100 times lower than their commercial counterparts. How did we do it? Well, first we designed adaptive digital circuits to get rid of the voltage guard bands conventionally required for robustness against process and temperature variations. Second, we need a sensing and a transmission to be as digital as possible. Digital sensing can be performed by converting the physical analog inputs into the frequency of a digital signal. This leads to time-based architectures whose dynamic range is not limited by a low supply voltage. For communication, we use impulse radio transmission where the data is encoded in the timing of short pulses. A digital transmitter can then save a lot of power by activating the expensive frequency generation only when a pulse needs to be emitted. These were great achievements, but many questions remain. Is it possible to perform the unavoidable supply voltage regulation in a digital way? Could we further save power by moving the boundaries between sensing, processing and transmission, or by taking inspiration from the brain to build neuromorphic smart sensors? We believe the IoT will change the way we live. So if you want to be an actor of this change, and more importantly, if you want to ensure that this is done in a sustainable way for the environment, then contact us today.